welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to continue our series of seventh lord of Devon chart in sixth house okay why it is very important to see this placement and why i'm making this video because um see navamsha chart tells you about what is your planetary placement like uh, you may suffer a lot at the first phase of your life okay so um, if a particular planet is well placed in the Navamsha chart and it is not well placed in D1 chart, then after you pay off your karma, that planet will give you good results. Okay, that's why it is very important to check the uh, placement of all the um, planets in the Navamsha chart. Okay, so... Um, now, what happens when your 7th Lord of Devon chart is uh, is in 6th house, which is, we all know what 6th house represents, but it is something different when it comes to Navamsha chart. 6th house, basically, of Navamsha chart shows the obstacles, disputes, and problems you will face in your marriage, okay? I mean, what will try to separate you from your spouse, okay? Or, um, like 5th house shows intelligence, 6th house shows um, the problems issues that may come in your life and how you and your spouse will tackle okay it also it shows separation from spouse sixth house which is 12th from so um, not only it shows separation but it also shows um, foreign spouse or other cultural spouse because it is 12th from your of seventh house okay so when this seventh lord of d1 chart it goes in the sixth house of d9 chart it actually means karmic debt that you have to pay off to your partner okay you will have to serve your spouse now i would have not said it if it had been in the d1 chart okay because d1 chart shows um, basically, it can show like um, other relationships as well, karmic relationship and your spouse would be your ultimate partner. But if it is happening in your D9 chart, okay, then it shows karmic debt with spouse. So now, so now when 7th Lord of D1 is in 6th house of D9, your one relationship, okay, has to fail, okay? one relationship one serious relationship if you have been in one serious relationship and it failed then in that case your uh, marriage with your spouse will be better or one remedy is marry your spouse two times or one remedy is marry your spouse two times to um, cut off that karma which you have in sixth house okay uh, otherwise it uh, really 100% shows uh, the failure of one relationship before getting your right partner and it can also show two relationships okay um, so basically it shows if you have two relationships one will be karmic partner someone from past life is coming in this life to take something from you okay something that something that you have to pay off in this world okay uh, karmic partners are those people who come in our life to take something from for example enemy of past life okay uh, yeah and when seventh lord is in sixth house it shows enemy of past life someone who was your enemy someone um, like you were not very in good terms with that person or you took some debt from that person and you didn't pay it um, money debt okay and you will have to pay off in this life okay that is only relationship between you and that person who will come as a spouse or as a partner okay the day you pay off that debt that person is not going to stay in your life so if your relationship breaks okay so you don't have to stop it okay because that person is your karmic partner he's coming to take something from you the day that debt will finish, that person will have to go away from your life, okay? No matter how much you try to stop, that person won't stop because he'll know your soulmate or something, okay? 
So that is your relation relationship, and if uh, one relationship uh, is failed, then you can try another one like automatically your divine partner will come in your life and then that relationship will never break but you will have to go through some issues of relationship at first no matter which planet is ruling that house if mars saturn or sun comes then i would say that uh, yeah you won't may have to go through too much complications because um these planets are good in sixth house okay now um now you also need to see your seventh lord of d9 chart where it is placed if it is well placed it shows good marriage okay so basically why we use d9 chart to see the dignity of the planets in the d9 chart if they are giving good results or bad results okay one remedy that i would like to tell you um that avoid fights and arguments with your partner as much as possible okay if you think your partner fights with you every night before sleeping say i forgive you i ask forgiveness from you i forgive you let's clear the karmic debt of the past life and one more thing your emotions will also finish when the karmic debt will be paid off your emotions will automatically go away because that's not emotional relationship okay it is very superficial relationship you may think i love this person but it is not true okay you both are together only for karma the day karma finishes you both will get separated no emotions nothing will be left between you both so every day say sorry to that partner okay say sorry in your dream and ask forgiveness and break that cord of karma that connects you both okay and there is no need to cry for that person you are only creating hindrance in your path to moksha okay someone who fights with you constantly someone who never understands you is your karmic partner don't waste time for these types of partners because they are not going to be with you forever they are only creating hindrance in your path towards moksha so don't keep any attachments with them okay and love everyone equally don't keep any attachment with anyone in this world love everyone equally and treat everyone equally okay now let's talk about the planets now if it is sun firstly your seventh lord leo uh ruler of leo is sitting in the sixth house so it is very good your spouse will help you to burn the enemies to burn the obstacles to burn the diseases okay it is a blessing for you your spouse can be in government job or a doctor or in medical or a service your spouse will also be very um, helpful but dominating sign placement is very important okay if it is debilitated then some low confidence or arguments fights may happen in the relationship okay but it shows a very good spouse who is like having a good personality and would help to burn the enemies and you will feel like after my spouse came in my life my all problems ended like i feel healed like my spouse is healing me my spouse is helping me to solve the problems even when you will fight your spouse will be the one who will try to end the arguments or finish the arguments from the depth okay sun is a planet which burns the qualities of the house it sits it's a very hot planet that's why it will burn the enemies and it will also boost your confidence but as it is sixth house so yeah some karma will have to be paid off okay but it is not a very bad placement it's a better placement it's a good placement okay it shows a foreign spouse as well hmm? now if it is moon moon is a very delicate and nurturing planet moon is a queen moon is a planet which never stays at a particular place for a long time if your moon is afflicted in a chart you will constantly change the things okay focus will never be on one particular thing always changing jobs always changing and everything okay so that is one of the symptoms of afflicted moon now when moon comes here even little fights obstacles will 
create misunderstanding or emotional disturbance in our spouse as it is mind your moon it will create in you as well that emotional disturbance so try to avoid the fights and arguments and like uh, your spouse mind will constantly focus on how to deal with fights how to deal with enemies like you have to remove the focus from that area and put focus on other areas okay try to become spiritual try to practice spirituality that will help you really it also shows um, a very caring spouse your spouse will be very caring and will be very nurturing okay however misunderstanding will happen emotional misunderstanding fear of enemies fear of obstacles okay will happen you may have to go through some relationship issues so be careful try to avoid fights and arguments in relationship and try to understand your spouse because your spouse will be very emotional very very emotional and you know moon is a planet uh, which if afflicted in sixth house we consider it not very good so it can give tendency um, to your spouse um, to easily go in depression or feel anxiety and all so you will have to deal with that okay you need to help your spouse you need to help your spouse um, to deal with all these situations however it will be very caring your spouse can be medical field or counseling field or helping people very much helpful will understand the pain of people no matter whoever it is your spouse will understand the pain of people by heart okay will, uh, will understand with like a mother will be very caring and nurturing now if it is venus venus is a planet which is actually debilitated in virgo now it is going in the sixth house in the Navamsha chart so relationship issues at first will happen for sure because it is your karma that you have to pay off the karmic debts and the lessons that you have to learn like i have made the video on how to make venus strong if you follow that no matter what is the no matter what is the placement of venus in your chart venus will never ever harm you okay never cheat on your spouse never lie love everyone equally now when venus is basically here it shows um you will have to serve your spouse if it is your wife then you must have promised her something in the past life or she did something for you which you didn't re uh, repay okay and in this life you will have to and in this life you will have to repay that particular thing see venus is a planet it also it also shows your spouse will be very picky where uh, no matter what is the sign your spouse will uh, too much uh, focus on small small issues and like um, also very much focus on fashion and uh, even little things like fights and arguments will hurt your spouse because venus is a delicate planet uh, it, it wants to stay away from these fights but now venus your spouse that is your spouse no matter you are male or female is forced to deal with enemies to deal with obstacles and that will frustrate your spouse your spouse will remove that frustration on you so you need to understand this thing okay however it also shows misunderstanding arguments and health issue to your spouse or um, fights may happen unnecessary fights in the relationship so you will have to avoid a karmic debt to be paid off to your spouse in this life some karma you will have to pay for sure uh, because it's in sixth house which we consider debilitated so uh yeah this thing but you won't be uh, you won't get separated okay because for that we need to see other placements as well you need to enhance the quality of venus venus becomes weak here okay you need to enhance the quality of venus by doing some proper things you can wear diamond opal okay or you can um just uh, follow some basic remedies you can watch that video uh, of venus which will help you to understand okay now if you talk about mercury see mercury is a planet that is very communicative very curious 
whenever it sits it wants to go deep into that and like uh, very curious and inquisitive so what's going on what is this i want to research i want to know more and more about it depending upon if it's interested so this is what it shows now mercury a can ruler um gemini or we're going to even chart it's sitting in the sixth house here it shows your spouse will never keep calm or will never remain silent when it comes to some issues in relationship fights or enemies hurting you your spouse will be like want to settle the things by speech because mercury represents speech so uh, mars comes then by hands too so mercury represents speech to so your spouse will want to solve the issues by uh, speech okay because mercury is a planet that wants to settle the things mercury doesn't like these fights arguments and all it wants to settle the things it wants to give everyone equal share because it's a business planet so yeah mercury thinks about his profit first your spouse will uh, whenever arguments and fights will happen your spouse will first think about his or her profit okay if he is getting benefited from that otherwise your spouse will also want to solve the issue and can also be accountant in finance field or in law field okay but educated spouse someone who knows how to fight someone who knows how to deal with enemies he can make a deal with enemies and um, like a businessman okay everyone getting equal share now if it is mars mars is a fighter mars is a soldier and very happy when it comes in the sixth house feel like i'm home here i can fight so your spouse firstly will fight for you will fight against enemies will fight against obstacles will be very bold and energetic no matter male or fe male or female if it is a female uh, if it's your wife, she will fight for you against enemies. Will be very masculine type. Okay, um, it shows that um, no matter how much obstacle and fights happen in your relationship, or people try to harm you both, or try to break your relationship, but ultimately you both will fight against them. You will defeat them because Mars defeats um, the enemies. Okay, enemies will not be able to defeat you. You'll fight against them and defeat them. So Mars is good here when it comes to the sixth house. Okay, and yeah, it also shows um, some long journeys that you and your spouse may go in long journeys. It also shows sexual spouse, okay? Um, your spouse will be very interested in sexual intimacy. So because Mars is aspecting your 12th house, and yeah your personality will also be very much influenced by your spouse by looks of your spouse by style of your spouse will be very much influenced by your spouse okay now if it is saturn saturn basically uh wherever it sits it slows down the results of that house why because saturn wants to teach you something saturn wants to teach you patience Saturn is good in sixth house. It will slow down the enemies. It will slow down, and yeah, it will also slow down your capability to fight against them. Okay, so sometimes you feel like your enemies are too much trying to harm you. Now, Saturn shows a spouse who is very disciplined, very organized, very wise, matured, cold natured. Okay, someone who never expresses his feelings. You know, Shani Dave is actually very, very emotional from inside. But because of the past experience, because of the rejection that Shani Dave faced, he doesn't want to open up in public and never expresses his emotions. Okay? Because of the rejection faced by Shani Dave. So that pain that Shani Dave carries, like Shani Dave, Saturn is actually very very amazing planet loyal planet okay no one can be uh more loyal than shani dave because he understands no matter he never shows his emotions but from within from inside he's very very um good okay you do good karma 
you walk on the right path and trust me Shanita will give you the results if it's not in this life in next life but will never let injustice happen with you okay trust Shani they walk on the right path if you think Shani they punishes you then Shani they will give you the results okay Shani they if you like just walk on the right path just follow Saturn your all wishes will be fulfilled there will be no wish that will not be fulfilled okay so just follow now if it is Jupiter so Saturn in the sixth house Firstly, it shows like your spouse may, uh, whenever you will fight or argue or any obstacle or any enemies will try to harm you, your spouse will run away like will not want to deal with it. Because Saturn is a slow moving planet and um, Saturn is a lazy planet. So yes, uh, if you have arguments, your spouse will be like, no, I don't want to deal with it. Just leave it. I don't care. Because Saturn never fights, so you have to remember. But when Saturn fights, it is very terrible. So your spouse will be like, leave it. I will see later. Or you think that um, if, uh, if you fight with your spouse and your spouse will come to say sorry. So this is not going to happen, okay? Because it is Saturn. Saturn has ego. Um, like, I want to say sorry. Why well, say sorry? But one thing it shows, your spouse will serve you for sure. Okay, will be very loyal and will serve you. It is like someone from the past is coming in this life to serve you because of the karma you have with that person. Okay, now if it is Jupiter, Jupiter is a very heavy planet. Okay, and Jupiter forces you to follow the right path. Jupiter forces you to become a dharmic person and helps you to move towards spirituality towards moksha now when jupiter comes in the sixth house especially if it is retrograde it will take you to pass to solve the karmic issues like your enemies your obstacles you will have to face it in relationship okay to get married with your partner you will have to work hard a lot things will not come to you easily your spouse will be very wise mature dharmic religious spiritual okay but it will not come to you very easily and you are the person who forgives his enemies you don't want to fight with them but by your knowledge by your wisdom you will defeat the enemies and when jupiter is in the sixth house you will become heavy on your enemies okay your enemies will not not be able to stand in front of you you will defeat them but it will create issues in going towards spirituality the day you go towards spirituality or your spouse goes towards spirituality jupiter will stop giving bad results for females jupiter is husband so yeah arguments fights or you think, think uh, you will think like my husband too much tries to uh, my husband tries to dominate me all the time or is too much orthodox so all these situations may occur however wise spouse matured spouse okay some issues may occur but that will not be very much prominent if you follow the right path if you walk towards spirituality if you um no matter how much these planets harm you if you always walk on the right path as you have chosen no one can harm you i will make a separate video on the list of the things that we should do in our life to um get the good results from planets to become a good person and attain moksha okay i will make a separate video on this topic so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe